All right, hey everyone, King King 77 here from the Android Creative Syndicate team again. Here to do a video showing you how to change your system font on your Android device. This isn't Samsung Epic specific, which is the phone I have right here, but it does work on the Epic. Um, what you're going to need to do is go ahead and go to the market and then search for font switcher. So just go ahead and do font switcher and right there custom Android font switcher click on that and then hit install and accept and download so let that go ahead and download with this app you actually um, it actually gives you previews of the font so once it's installed go ahead and click on it hit agree and then hit OK and agree again and here you go here's fonts on the server as you can see it gives you a very good list I think there's over 150 different fonts so it gives you a preview of all of them as you can see uh, all you need to do is make sure obviously you need to be rooted to do this um, so what you're going to need to do is click on well, I'm going to click on a strange one it's called frizzed and it says are you sure you want to apply hit yes and then just allow it super user access just hit allow it should reboot your phone and once it comes up I will be have different fonts. So I'm on Syndicate Frozen ROM 1.2, just a ROM for the Samsung Epic. Go ahead and let that boot up. And now that my phone has booted up, I'm sure you guys will be able to see the, go ahead and look up the clock. All these fonts are different. They're, I guess it's called frazz, frazzled for a reason. So I guess I can go to the market app and show you guys, as you can see loading, it's a little, the font's just totally different as you can see right here. The, it's a little more fuzzed out. It's basically the, what the preview looked like. So. But as you can see, it worked perfectly. I had no issues whatsoever. Um, if you did do not find an, a font that you like within that app, you can go ahead and click on the link in the description. It'll take you to this thread right here. Um, thanks to this guy for posting these. Um, basically, it's a bunch of flashable font packs. Depending on the type of uh, uh, script that your phone uses, Samsung Epic uses the Edify. These are for, I believe, the Evo if you use a Mona Array. But if you do use Edify, just click there and it'll take you to this thread right here. Here's a huge list of just a ton of different uh, fonts. You can click on these different posts too for more. And I'm just to give you a quick uh, showing, I downloaded the Advantage small.zip, put it on my SD card, no need to unzip it or anything. Um, and then I'm just going to go ahead and go to the ACS Updater app, which I got from the market as well. And just hit install from SD card, and then navigate to wherever I put it. It was called Font Pack, um, ch -ch 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 -ch, Font Pack Advantage Small.zip. Uh, right there, and then I'm just gonna hit yes. I don't think you need to wipe. Um, if I do have problems, I'll let you know. But if you want to be safe, you can just go ahead and wipe. It's not gonna affect anything. And then just go ahead and hit yes, and I'll allow it super user access. It'll reboot your phone, and when it reboots, you should have a vantage small that zip. It'll actually boot into clockwork. You guys will see that in the video, and it'll show you installing it. Right there, it says install from SD card complete, should reboot your phone then. I would probably recommend wiping cache and Delvic cache, just checking that box before you do this. I know I didn't, the reason I didn't is I didn't know if the script did it for you, but when it wipes Delvic cache, the boot up takes a little longer, so just kind of didn't for you guys but it's up to you if you want to decide to wipe cash or or not and there you go as you can see my font is much different um, it's a lot thinner and it just looks different I'll go ahead and go to the market again even the loading 
is different. Um, all the fonts are just different. So that would be changing your system font. Go ahead and go to this menu. That's a good preview of the fonts right there. So as you can see, that would be two ways you can change your system font on your Android device. In my case, I'm using the Samsung Epic, but it will work. It should work on pretty much all Android devices. Uh, if you do have any questions, feel free to ask me. Leave a comment, send me a message. I'll be happy to help you guys out. Thanks for watching.